Have you ever been told that you look really angry or look really tired by your friends? And it's quite annoying when people say that. And one of the main reasons is because you've got some lines in between the eyebrow. And the reason why we get those lines in between the eyebrow is because when we convey a negative emotion, such as like when we're angry, when we're frowning, uh, or when we're squinting, then um, we get those lines appearing in between the eye, in between the eyebrow, sorry. And uh, the main reason we get them is because of the activity of the muscle. So we've got a couple of muscles which are responsible for those lines. We've got the um, bulky muscle in the middle, which is called the procerus muscle, and we've got uh, muscles just here, the corrugators. And uh, what happens is when that muscle is active, so when we're making those angry faces, when we're frowning, um, this muscle will create those 11 lines. And you've got a muscle here as well, which is quite a bulky muscle, and that causes horizontal lines at the bridge of the nose. So other reasons why we may get lines in between there is because of that um, activity of that muscle, the constant activity of that muscle, in combination with loss of elasticity of the skin, loss of hyaluronic acid, loss of collagen. And um, there's two types of lines. You can either get static lines. So static lines are present when the muscle is not active. So it's there when you're at rest, it's there all the time. And that's usually because you've got the muscle activity in combination with loss of elasticity and loss of collagen. And um, that's when it's a bit more challenging to treat. The best way or the best time to treat the area is when you can start to see those lines forming in what we call a dynamic expression line. And that's when the lines are present only when that muscle is active. So when you can see that frown, when you're making the actual movement, um, but you can't see it when your muscle is relaxed, that's the best time to treat. And the ideal treatment at this time is with a muscle relaxant such as Botox. And the way that it's delivered is it's um, specifically targeted in specific muscles so um, and with specific doses. So you want to make sure that the dose is correct, the muscle that's being injected is the correct muscle and um, it's the correct area of the muscle and that it's not migrating to an adjacent muscle or it's not injected into an adjacent muscle. Um, because one of the potential side effects of injecting the wrong muscle is that you can get a temporary droop of the eyelid um, and the eyebrow. So that's not the best aesthetic result. So make sure you go to a qualified and experienced professional before having this treatment done. If you are concerned about lines which are static, so that's when you can see the lines even when the muscle is relaxed, that's a good time to have a combination treatment. So uh, the combination treatment would be with Botox because you still want to keep that activity of the muscle quiet because when we're keeping the activity of the muscle quiet and we're slowing down the activity, we're actually preventing further lines being etched into the skin, which is exactly what you want. You want that prevention. And we combine it with skin treatments um, and possibly dermal fillers in the area. And skin treatments can help to um, improve the collagen, boost the collagen, and also with fillers, you can actually fill, um, especially very, very deep, um, what we call 11 lines. So the lines that you can see just here. So they're ones that you can actually fill with a very, very superficial, very thin filler, and that will help to smooth out those lines for you. Um, so yes, a very, very common concern, but um, in terms of treatment, treatment is very safe, it's effective, and patient satisfaction when it's done really, really well, is really, really high. And so, of course, make sure you go to a qualified professional and someone with experience, someone where you can see their before and afters, where you can read their reviews, or you've been referred um, to them by a colleague or a friend or a, a, a loved one. So frown lines, a great way to um, make sure that the face looks nice and smooth.